Ever find yourself wondering why you're always short of money at the end of every month? This question resonates with most of us, doesn't it? We all face financial struggles, whether it's managing our monthly expenses, saving for the future, or navigating through the labyrinth of investments. These challenges underline the importance of financial literacy and the need to cultivate good financial habits. While personal finance can seem daunting, it doesn't have to be. There are people who've walked this path before, and one such person is Dave Ramsey. Known for his no-nonsense approach to money management, Ramsey has helped millions navigate their financial woes. His principles are not about quick fixes or get-rich-quick schemes, they are about understanding your money, taking control of it, and using it to build a secure future. It's about transforming your financial struggles into financial success. Fear not, for there are solutions available. Let's delve into the top 10 ultimate financial fixes by Dave Ramsey. First on the list is building an emergency fund. Think of an emergency fund as your financial safety net. It's money set aside to cover unexpected expenses, like a car repair, or to keep you afloat if you lose your job. Now why is it important? Well, life is unpredictable. Without an emergency fund, unexpected costs can force you into debt. So, how do you build one? Start by determining your monthly expenses. Then, aim to save enough to cover three to six months of these expenses. This might seem daunting, but remember, it's not about amassing this sum overnight, it's about consistent gradual saving. Every little bit helps. Whether you stash your money in a savings account, a money market fund, or under your mattress, the key is to have easy access to it when the unexpected happens. Remember, this fund isn't an investment, it's insurance for those unexpected life events. The second step, budgeting. Let's dive right into it. Budgeting isn't about restricting your spending. It's about understanding your spending. It's about taking control and making sure your money is working for you, not the other way around. Consider budgeting as giving every dollar a job. Yes, you heard it right. Assigning roles to your money. Every dollar you earn has a purpose, whether that's paying for your rent, buying groceries, or going into your savings account. But how do you create a budget? First, identify your income. Next, list your expenses. Don't forget the little things. They add up. Then subtract your expenses from your income. If you have money left over, great. That's more to save or invest. If you're in the red, it's time to trim some spending. Remember, the goal isn't to limit your lifestyle, it's about making sure every dollar is doing its job. Every dollar you spend should be accounted for in your monthly plan. Thirdly, we have to tackle the big D, debt. Debt, my friends, is like a leech. It attaches itself to your financial health, draining it slowly, yet steadily. Now, how do we get this leech off? The answer is simple, stop feeding it. In other words, stop borrowing money. Think of it this way, every dollar you borrow is a dollar you rob from your future self. And you're not just robbing the dollar but also the potential growth that dollar could have had if invested wisely. The road to a debt-free life starts with a commitment. A commitment to live within your means, to save more than you spend, and to invest wisely. It may seem like a steep mountain to climb but remember, every journey starts with a single step. Let's take that step today. Let's commit to not borrow money, to live within our means, and to start saving for a brighter future. Remember, the borrower is slave to the lender. Fourth on our list, let's talk about investing. Imagine the financial world as a vast ocean and your money as a tiny boat. Now, you could let your boat float aimlessly or you could hoist its sails and set a course. That's what investing is, setting your money on a course to grow. It's not just for the wealthy or financially savvy, it's for everyone who dreams of financial growth and stability. Investing is like planting a seed and watching it grow into a tree over time. It's the magic of compound interest at work, where your money earns interest, and then that interest earns interest. It's a powerful tool for wealth creation and a key component of retirement planning. Remember, your financial journey is not a sprint, it's a marathon. The sooner you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. It's about time, not timing. So, start today, not tomorrow. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Fifth step, insurance. Now, we're on to something that might not seem as exciting as investing or budgeting, but it's equally, if not more, important. Insurance. You see, insurance is all about protection. It's about safeguarding the wealth you've worked so hard to accumulate. Think of insurance as your financial safety net. It's there to catch you when life throws you a curveball. Whether it's an unexpected health issue, a car accident, or damage to your home, insurance is there to ensure that these unforeseen circumstances don't derail your financial journey. 
It's easy to think, it won't happen to me, but the truth is, life is unpredictable. And that's where insurance comes in. It provides a buffer, a layer of protection that keeps your wealth safe and secure. So don't overlook insurance. Make it a key part of your financial plan. Remember, it's not just about building wealth, but also protecting it. Insurance is a crucial tool in protecting your financial future. Sixth on our list, giving. Now you might be wondering, how does giving improve my financial health? Let's unravel this together. Giving in essence is a fundamental aspect of personal finance that often gets overlooked. It's not just about philanthropy, it's about a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity. You see, when we give generously, we are acknowledging that we have more than enough. This positive mindset can drive us to make better financial decisions and seek out opportunities for growth we might otherwise overlook. It's a ripple effect that begins with a simple act of generosity. Moreover, giving helps us connect with our community, and that connection can lead to opportunities, be it a new job, a business partnership, or even an investment tip. So, remember, giving is not about depleting your resources, it's about enriching your life and the lives of others. Giving not only has the power to change the lives of those you give to, but also your own. Seventh step, saving for college. We're delving into the realm of higher education, a significant investment that can shape the future of your children. The importance of saving for college cannot be overstated. It's not just about avoiding student loans or debt. It's about giving your children the freedom to pursue their passion, to explore, to innovate, without the heavy burden of financial stress. So what's the best way to save for college? Start early. The earlier you start saving, the more time your money has to grow. Consider options such as 529 plans or education savings accounts, both of which offer tax advantages for college savings. And remember, every little bit helps. Even a small amount saved regularly can compound over time, making a significant difference in the long run. While it's important to save for college, remember not to do so at the expense of your own retirement. Balance is key. Remember, the earlier you start saving, the less debt your children will have to take on. Eighth on our list, paying off your home early. Now you might be asking, why should you do this when you could invest that money elsewhere? Well the answer is simple, yet profound. Paying off your home early can save you a mountain of interest payments. It's like keeping thousands of dollars in your pocket. Imagine living in your home completely payment free. That's right, no more monthly mortgage payments nibbling away at your budget. It's a liberating concept, isn't it? This isn't just a fantasy, it's achievable. How you ask? It's all about making extra payments whenever possible. Let's say you receive a tax refund, a bonus at work, or even a small windfall. Instead of splurging on a new gadget or a vacation, consider making an additional payment on your mortgage. These extra payments chip away at the principal, helping you pay off your home faster. Remember, every little helps. An early payoff can save you thousands and give you peace of mind. So why not start planning your early payoff strategy today? Scene script, ninth step, build wealth and give. Imagine a world where your financial decisions are driven not by necessity, but by choice. Where your money serves as a tool for creating change, not just a means for survival. That's the power of wealth. But building wealth isn't just about accumulating money, it's about growing your resources to a point where they can be used to help others. Think about it, with wealth, you can support causes you care about, help those in need, and make a real difference in the world. It's not about hoarding riches, it's about using those riches to enrich others. This is where the true satisfaction of wealth comes from. It's not in the fancy cars or the lavish vacations. It's in knowing that your hard-earned money is making a positive impact. It's in seeing the smiles on the faces of those you've helped. Building wealth isn't just about personal gain. It's about making a difference and leaving a legacy. Last but not least, retirement. It's the golden phase of life, a time to relax and enjoy the fruits of your hard work, but planning for it is as essential as planning for any other stage of life. Retirement planning is all about ensuring your financial security for the days when you'll no longer be working full time. It's about creating a safety net that allows you to maintain your lifestyle without a constant income. Dave Ramsey suggests investing 15% of your household income into Roth IRAs and pre-tax retirement funds. Why? Well, this strategy helps in building a substantial nest egg that can support you in your retirement years. Roth IRAs are particularly advantageous as they grow tax-free and withdrawals during retirement are also tax-free. Meanwhile, pre-tax retirement funds provide immediate tax benefits, reducing your taxable income now. Remember, the goal is not just to retire, but to retire comfortably. 
So, remember it's never too early to plan for retirement. And there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through the labyrinth of personal finance guided by the wisdom of Dave Ramsey's top 10 ultimate financial fixes. Each solution, a beacon of hope, illuminating the path to financial stability. We've understood the significance of an emergency fund, the foundation of a strong financial plan. We've explored the art of budgeting, the compass that keeps us on track. We've tackled the menacing beast of debt, reclaiming control of our financial destiny. We've delved into the world of investing, planting seeds for future growth. We've discussed the safety net of insurance, safeguarding against unforeseen circumstances. We've celebrated the joy of giving, enriching both our own lives and those of others. We've highlighted the importance of saving for higher education, investing in our future leaders. We've championed the idea of paying off our homes early, freeing ourselves from the shackles of long-term debt. We've envisioned building wealth and giving generously, creating a legacy of abundance. And finally, we've planned for retirement, ensuring a comfortable and secure future. With these steps, you're on your way to financial freedom. Remember the journey to financial health is a marathon, not a sprint.